alpha is the light aqua, the gray is the theta. When they cross over, those are like the twilight zones, the, the access, the conscious access to subconscious okay. states. So these, you know, these are, you know... Meditation meets med sleep. Yes, meditation meet awareness meets unawareness. Yeah. Awareness meets unawareness. And these are transformative brain states right there. Those create. Now, if you can hit those enough, I do believe that your brain will kick into a whole nother uh, neurological reorganization. I think that's what enlightenment is. Okay. I think that that happens if people have enough of these types of instances, you know, critical mass builds, neural patterns get laid down in the brain, and that one day it seems like, boom, everything changes, but really this has been the pathway that you've been working on. And one day what happens is the symphony builds and crescendos and then the waves, a new state happens. And then when people talk about their experiences of enlightenment, they talk about this period of adjustment where their brain just kind of goes flippy. Yeah. You know, their perceptions get flippy, their moods get flippy, everything kind of flips and then everything settles into normal order. Um, and, but that's another neurological reorganization yeah. of the brain. It's, it's organized itself to a, another more efficient, higher level of functioning that it, it's, there's just more coherence and more cooperation with its own functioning. But I think this is when people remember their past lifetimes, too. It's when they get enough coherence there that that's part of some of the collective unconscious that they're able to recall. Now, a critic, uh, if you're a critic, you could say, well, we've shown that out-of-the-body experience is a combination of meditation and opening up the sleep mm -hmm. cycle. Mm -hmm. And, that, you know, that sort of shows how you have these experiences. If you... Uh, I mean, I don't know that that... I can't look yeah. at that and say he was out of his body right yeah, now. Yeah, absolutely, no. But we could, if you were being positive about it, you could say through meditation, somehow we've started to use some of the abilities of sleep here, or abilities we associate with sleep. Um, well, I think what, yes, what yeah. you're doing is you're bringing opposites together, yin-yang, opposites together, sleep and awareness. You're bringing yeah. states of relaxed focus, not hyper-awareness, but you have to use the relaxed focus state. Because if you're hyper, then that's that's kind of a, a, sh a, a, a exclusive state. So you use an open state of awareness where things can come in and go out pretty easily. And you use a, a more uh, absolute state of unconsciousness. So it's your conscious and your unconscious so coexisting yeah. in your awareness at the same moment. And what's amazing is Which how is what they say meditation. Yeah, that, that is, is yeah, absolutely. That's what yeah. it is. Well, that's alpha theta crossover is the brain state that also describes that philosophical okay. meditative state that people have been experiencing for centuries. Wonderful. So, and whatever you're doing, whatever you're experiencing is, you're experiencing it regularly. I mean, it's. I mean, I've seen some people where their alpha's way up here and their theta's here, and then there's a crossover here, and then it doesn't cross over for a lot of times, but you have a lot of crossover. It's deliberately crossing, One, yeah. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, just regularly. I mean, if we had tones for every time it did, it would yeah, be Yeah, like, we've got a few over here, yeah, yeah. Ding, 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 ding. And that was, yeah. only, that was only two minutes and 48 seconds. You've done this for how, I mean, how many times? Sometimes you're up to 20 minutes a day, Yeah, minutes? For, Yeah, normally 20 minutes in the morning and evening, so. So, I mean, at that point, you're building these neural pathways in your brain that, you know, who knows what the critical mass is for that. Maybe it's 30 minutes a day in that state. Maybe, you know, how many, how, much, how often do monks do it, you know, or? Um, meditation, they'll do, you know, a lot more, but out of the body, Exercise is so tiring, you shouldn't do it sort of more than once sort of every... Well, you're trying to bury us while we're talking. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, every few days, so yeah. So this was a, an intense type of meditation, yeah, this particular very, one. Yeah, okay. very, very tiring. It's thing, interesting yeah. because you, the brain state, the high, the high betas are down. Mm. Now, so you have some mid betas, 15 to 13, those are the pinks. Those were up there. You must have moved or something because they're all going up at the same time. So you have the pinks, but actually all the betas are pretty settled. All the betas yeah, so are pretty that, 